Hi everyone, I'm Whitney and I post weekly videos to help sewers of all skill levels learn new projects and techniques. This week I'm sharing another video in my Sewing Patterns 101 series. If you haven't checked out the other videos in this series yet, I have them all linked together in a playlist and you can find the direct link to that down in the video description. Today I'll be going over all the information found on the pattern instruction sheet. With any sewing pattern, I recommend reading the entire directions before starting the pattern. You can actually even read them while you're still at the store before you even buy the pattern. I do this sometimes to see how complicated the pattern is or how many steps there will be. You can just open up the pattern envelope and take out the instruction sheets. They're folded up separately from the pattern itself. The pattern will be folded all together and you can read them while you are at the store. Just make sure to fold them back up very carefully and put them back in the correct envelope, especially if you're not buying it. Make sure to put it back in the correct envelope so that the person who does buy it won't be missing out on any of the information. The instructions will start by showing you some illustrations of all the different types of items you can make using that pattern. So it may just be a shirt with some different sleeve or collar variations, or there may be a wide variety of garments that you can make from this particular pattern. Each variation or view will be labeled with a specific letter. This is to help you identify where the instructions are later on in the pattern, as well as the pieces and other things that you will need to know for your particular item that you're sewing. The next section shows every single pattern piece included in the pattern envelope and they are all labeled with a different number. Once you know which pattern view you want to make, you can go through the list and find all of the different pieces that you will need to make that item. Then there's a section that provides a lot of general sewing instruction and directions. This will include things like the seam allowance that is already added into the sewing pattern, which nine times out of 10 is going to be five eighths of an inch, at least if you're using a US made pattern. Um, very, very occasionally you'll find one that's three eighths inch unless it's something um, specialized like maybe a bear pattern and that might be like a quarter inch seam allowance. But for most garment sewing, it is going to be a 5 eighths inch. It will also include things like grain line markings, how the right and wrong sides of the fabric are shown in the instructions, ways to adjust the length, basic sewing terms, and much, much more. Since these are general instructions, they may not all apply to the pattern that you will be using, but it is a good idea to always skim over it and kind of have an idea of the different instructions and things that you may come across in this pattern. The last thing on the front page will be the cutting layout. Now these layouts are a good general idea of the best way to lay out the pattern pieces to make the most use of the amount of fabric that it calls for for the item you're making. Now the pattern layouts are usually one layout for every size that's included in the pattern. So if you're making one of these smaller sizes, you may be able to lay the pieces out a little differently and use less fabric. Um, and just because it's shown in the layout doesn't mean you have to do it that way. As long as you still pay attention to if an item needs to be cut on a fold or if um, it needs to be going along the bias or along the grain line, as long as you still follow all those, you can really lay things out however you want. This is just a general idea of a good way to lay out the pattern pieces to use the amount of fabric that's called for or less. The remainder of the instructions will be these step-by-step -step directions and there will be directions for every single item that is included in that pattern so they won't all apply to you but there will be headings breaking them down so you can go through the headings and find say if you're making item C you can skip sections A and B and go right to C and that will be the directions for making the item that you want to make. For each step, there will be an illustration. Um, some steps will include 
a number of tasks that you need to do. If you are new to sewing patterns or you're just uncomfortable with using them and don't really know where to start, you might try to find a pattern that's labeled as easy or for beginners because um, each step will have less tasks to do. Um, so in turn, there will be more illustrations for each thing um, and that can help give you more of a visual along the way so you don't feel lost if there's like four or five things that you need to do with just one illustration. Anytime you encounter words or phrases and the sewing directions that you don't understand, first go to that general sewing instructions section and see if it's in there and if that is any help to you. And if not, head to the internet. There is a ton of great resources out there on the internet that can definitely help you learn how to understand your sewing patterns even better. I'm striving to do that here on my channel as well, and I will have more videos in the future in my Sewing Pattern 101 series where I'm going to break down different terms that you may not understand that will be helpful. Um, so if you have different, um, you know, techniques or words that you've come across in your sewing patterns that you don't understand and you don't know what they mean um, and you want to see covered in a future video, then definitely let me know in the comments down below because I want to help you all learn how to use sewing patterns better. So let me know those exact things that you want to see covered in future videos and make sure you're subscribed so that you see those videos when they come out. And yeah, I hope this video has been helpful for you. And until next time, happy sewing.